Hello everyone, I'm Ale and welcome to Solo Cosenove. We're exploring cargo bikes world. We learned why to use a cargo bike and which model there are out there. And I'll show you my first prototype of a cargo bike. But I wasn't totally satisfied. So I decided to remake all that work. But at least this time I know what to do. Here you are my homemade cargo bike 2.0. But let's see it in detail because there are a lot of material and I'll publish more than one video. But in the meantime, if you liked this video, please leave a thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any content like this and help the channel to grow. Thanks! Furthermore, on the website solocosanova.it you can find everything about the Solocosanova world. If you'll subscribe to the newsletter, and of course I don't send spam and don't sell your data, there is a little bike mechanics course. Simply select the checkbox and leave the mail. And now let's see the making of this bike starting from... I bought a little car box some years ago and I found this steel bike. It was really rusty and broken dirty. I can't use it for my daughter because it was too big so I decided to use it for my cargo bike. Read off the bottle cage and the pedals. They were very resilient but I hammered them down and you know how much I love to use the hammer. And I removed the rear derailleur and again I was happy to use the hammer. The next thing to do was uh, to cut the chain. It was uh, really really rusty, I can't reuse it. Uh, and by the way it was uh, too small for the cargo bike because uh, in the end uh, I used uh, two chains and half. This small bike uh, had uh, old fashioned uh, cantilever brakes. Uh, not uh, fantastic uh, for the performances. Uh, by the way, I removed uh, also the rear wheel. As you can see, it had uh, five sprockets. Uh, I also removed uh, the bottom bracket. Uh, it's useless uh, for me because in this point uh, I will add uh, the pivot for the other bike. Um, it was uh, really hard to remove the, this part. Uh, I'll spare you the process, but it was really hard to remove this part. I hammered it and used the heating gun, which I used also to remove the stickers. But you can also use an hard dryer if you don't have this kind of gun. And with a lot, a lot of patience, you can remove every one of them. It's uh, very important uh, to use uh, protections, uh, so gloves, uh, mask and glasses, uh, because uh, this is a chemical product, uh, a gel stripper, and I'll leave you the link down here in the description, or similar products, uh, because uh, sometimes I can find exactly the same. I brushed uh, all the uh, frame of the bike with this gel. I don't know, maybe if you do this process outside, you don't need the mask, but uh, I always prefer to wear it. Uh, I tried to remove uh, the paint with a spatula, but uh, it was really hard, so uh, <laughs> I used a drill. Let's measure the bike where uh, this will be placed. That's because uh, I need to cut uh, the bike frame uh, in this point uh, where uh, I mark. Here it is, uh, let's cut it. Uh, and I'm repeating myself, but wear gloves, uh, mask uh, and glasses because uh, it's uh, very dangerous. Uh, here I was checking if the idea was uh, correct. Uh, I had this old and rusty handlebar in my garage and I use it to connect the two parts. I will cut it and solder it here between the two parts. 
here uh, I was removing uh, the paint uh, with uh, this uh, grinder and uh, I shaped it like this uh, because uh, it's uh, useful uh, to connect perfectly the two parts uh, and then uh, I solder it. I weld it uh, with uh, the road uh, because uh, it's uh, simpler for me in uh, my box. I'm improving my abilities uh, in welding but uh, a blacksmith friend of mine helped me a lot uh, and in the end everything is working fine and it's very resistant which was my main concern because I use it with my children. Well it's all for today and we will see in the next part of this making of. Thank you for following me and see you. Ciao!